Greetings and blessings to all of you. My name is Dr. Donald Jolly Gabriel. I'm from the Center for New Medicine in Irvine, California, and I'm here today to share some very exciting news with you. First of all, this is no news to you that you are God's child, that you are created perfect, that you are given responsibility for this incredible piece of machinery called the human body. That's no secret, you already know that. So that shouldn't be any news. The news is what we have forgotten, and that's that we are given this absolutely incredible piece of machinery and given full responsibility for it. It is so magnificent, and number one, we're not taught much about it, what it does, how it does it, and we're not taught how to work out the responsibility that we have for this mechanism. Now, most of us have cars. I'll bet you nobody who's ever bought a car, bought a car that big, put it in your garage and watched it grow into a big car so you could use it. And I'll bet you anybody who has a car that's been dinged or wrecked has never gone and put hydrogen peroxide on it and neosporin and watched it heal because that doesn't work. But we as human beings have the capacity to keep ourselves in good shape if we give our body what it needs to heal. Our body's magnificent. It starts from nothing. You can barely see. You know, with a microscope, you can barely see. You can't see with the human eye. You could probably put 100,000 little, uh, little uh, human eggs uh, with fertilized sperm uh, on a pinhead. That's how small we are when we start. And yet we develop into thousands of working magnificent systems. Don't forget we're responsible for these systems that work and develop and create a wonderful body for us to use. And we can either abuse that body and pay the price for it, or we can take the greatest care possible and have it serve us well for a lot longer than it would otherwise serve us if we don't give it the very best care and the very best of what we should do for it. So I'm here today to tell you some things that your body needs and some things that you can do to your body. And I want you to take this advice and heed it and follow it because it'll add years to your life. First of all, we need fuel. We are mechanisms, we need fuel, just like your car needs fuel. Your car needs fuel, you give your car the best fuel you can so you can get where you're going. Our bodies need the best fuel the best fuel that God made for our bodies is that which is from nature, unadulterated, unobliterated, natural food. Eaten in such a fashion that we don't overdo it. If we don't have food, we die, we know that. Next thing we need is water, hydration. Hydration is a very important factor in keeping us alive, detoxifying our bodies, and supplying the raw materials to make chemicals and substances and fluids that our body needs. Our body does an awful lot. Our body does an awful lot. But you know what? It needs the ingredients to work with. So we have to hydrate properly. Another thing we have to do is we have to move our body. We have to give some kind of exercise for our body to stay useful to us. Otherwise, we'll just kind of shrivel up, and that's not good. Another thing, and I think the most important thing our body needs, is oxygen. And oxygen is an element created by God, and you wouldn't believe this. It's created by God, but declared a drug by the FDA. So you see, even the FDA realizes oxygen is the greatest thing. And whenever we are ill, we generally have access to oxygen one way or another. Now, we offer you at the Center for New Medicine a free oxygen evaluation, free oxygen test. All you have to do is come in or call before and come in and ask for a free oxygen evaluation and we will give it to you. You can take it to your doctor and your doctor can look at it and see if it's a meaningful thing in a positive way or a meaningful thing in a negative way and help you take care of it. But what do we do if we have oxygen levels that are too low? Oxygen is the source of life. Without it, we die. Without oxygen, we die in a few minutes. We have to continually utilize oxygen. Without food, we die, of course. Without water, we die, of course. But it takes a long time. Not with oxygen. Four or five minutes, we're finished. So we must have oxygen. And oxygen is something that sometimes we don't get enough of because we're lazy breathers. But we can give you some tips on that. 
You can supplement oxygen in a number of ways. You can learn to breathe more effectively. The ultimate, however, the ultimate in the utilization of oxygen for therapy is called hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is a therapy that utilizes a chamber, such as the chamber that's behind me. It is a chamber that you go into, it applies pressure, it forces oxygen to dissolve into your blood. It can create all kinds of healing mechanisms in the body. Absolutely magnificent healing mechanisms. And it's wonderful to see people who have been told they have to have an amputation because they're developing infections and wounds on their legs or feet. And it's just so incredible for me to see patients come in and do hyperbaric therapy and heal their wounds and not have to have an amputation. It's incredible to see brain injured people who have nuclear spec brain scans that show injuries in the brain and do proper hyperbaric therapy on them, maybe after 25, 30 treatments, do another spec brain scan and see the improvement and then see the manifestation of that improvement in their behavior. Hyperbarics is good for so many things. I want to get the word out because remember, God invented oxygen. The FDA only declared it a drug. And in our medical circles, we're only now just waking up to the extreme value of oxygenation. Now, we have a phone number you can call to get any information or to make an appointment to come in in Irvine. Our clinic is in Irvine. And the number is 949-680-1904. That's area code 949-680-1904. And there's a website called hyperbaricanswers.com. That's hyperbaricanswers.com. You can learn about hyperbarics, but remember to breathe better than you're breathing because that's the initial way to absorb more oxygen, to gather more oxygen into your body and to absorb more oxygen. I want to remind you that God is an incredible God who loves us and who made us perfect. He made us perfect. Any problems that come up, we have created in our lives and in our culture and in our lifestyle methodology, we have created things that undo what God has done. And we must take responsibility for giving our body the very best of everything, the very best of everything, so that we can have the longest life possible, so that we may praise God and do what we are supposed to do. And that's to follow the greatest commandment. And what is that? that we should love God above all things with our whole mind, heart, soul, and being, and that we should love each other and love and honor ourselves. That's our mandate. So let's remember that's the mandate. God bless all of you, and he does. Have the courage and wisdom to accept his blessing and move in the direction that it sends you.